Hi, Geminis. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun on rising and Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I keep hearing that song, Dirty Laundry by Kelly Rowland. Like, literally. But I only hear it for you in Sagittarius. Like, I just did Cancer's Read. I didn't hear it. So maybe you guys are dealing with each other? Going through similar shit? Let's do this dirty laundry. Maybe some of y'all literally need to do laundry. I know I do. <laughs> Let's do this dirty laundry, dirty laundry. Or this is you wanting to air somebody the fuck out. For all the bullshit that they did to you. Like, motherfucker, I should start a Facebook page. And add everybody to it. And let them know how nasty you are. Spread, what's going on with Gemini's? Let's talk to Gemini's. Gemini, we have the magician. You're making things happen. Okay, you have everything that you need to get you where you need to be. But the princess of swords, you're still trying to figure out what exactly it is that you want. The emperor, this is all big energy here. Ace of swords, ooh. You guys are like, I know I want to do something. And I want to do it big. But what the fuck do I want to do? <laughs> Such Gemini energy. And I feel like these are your twins. The magician and the emperor. The emperor is like, well, I definitely want to do something. The magician is like, but I'm ready. But then there's a third voice here that's like, but what the fuck do we do? <laughs> and then there's the ace of swords because we're needing to get clarity. Okay. Clarity is the theme of this reading. I'm going to write that down. Clarity. Okay. So now. Magician, what do you have planned for Gemini? What is it that you want to manifest? Ten of Wands. Five of Swords. Three of Swords in reverse. You want to get your... So, one of your twins wants to get you out of this rut you're in. They're like, come on, get the fuck up. Go outside, go do something. Stop thinking about that shit. Stop caring about that shit. Don't care about that shit no more. But, in the same token... The same motherfucker is like, but just check their page real quick. Just so you can get some closure to see, like, if you were bugging or whatever. Then you have somebody here, which is, you know, one of another twin. That's like, hey, so, you know, if we're going to say fuck this guy. This bitch probably high. We're going to say fuck this guy, okay? We're not going to care. Because this, for some reason, I'm picking up, like, real calm energy. We're not going to care what this person does. We are just going to focus on something else. But what are we going to focus on? The hermit card. I don't know. That's why this person is so calm. This is you. When I'm alone at the room. When I'm alone at night and I sit in my room or whatever the fuck, however it goes. This is a motherfucker that's, that's lit. This magician is lit. But this one is the one that you think about when you're calming down at night. All right. This is the one that makes you unwind. These are your thoughts right before you go to sleep. That's why it's hermit mode here. You're like, I don't want to fight with anybody no more. You know, whoever fucks with me, fucks with me. But if they don't, that's fine too. I'm good. This is you getting your emotions together, okay? Trying to figure out or analyzing what works for you and what doesn't. What's going to tick you off and what's not. What's worth your time and what's not. Now, the emperor is another energy of yours and it's telling you hey it's time to get a move on whatever the fuck it is you want to get a move on but where are we going the hierophant mm. the moon we're ready for commitment but to who to what nine of pentacles maybe the money in two it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but until I figure it out, I'm going to go over here and manifest this money. I have the magician here twice, so I promise you, 
you are in the energy to build whatever the fuck it is you want i promise you eight of wands all you gotta do is go for it two of wands just stop trying to decide and just do something just do something okay so a lot of um back and forth energy indecisiveness going on here a lot of different personalities too y'all motherfuckers is crazy <laughs> like literally it almost comes off like a like a personality disorder one person talking to the other person but at least they all know each other is there that's like mo multiple personality disorder they say that the people can talk to their different personalities like they're aware of each other they can see each other talking that's how your twins and your different personalities speak to one another. Because they're all initially one person. Different moods. But all your moods is like, okay, bitch, you got all of us sitting still. We don't all like to sit still. So what are we going to do? The kid of you is like, go outside. The adult in you that likes to make money is like, bro, put in some more hours at work or find another job. And then the other one that's probably like, I like to just stay at home and chill out and watch movies is like... We need somebody to be here with us. What are you wasting your time doing? <laughs> All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Gemini Spirit? I'm going to just pull from the top. The Five of Pentacles, the Princess of Cups, and the King of Cups. With the Magician again. This is going a little bit deeper into you feeling alone. I told you there's a Gemini here that's like, I'm cool. Well, there's a mood here of yours that's like, I'm cool, but I would like to have somebody. Princess of Cups is like, but who? King of Cups is like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, you're you're alone, but I feel like to some some extent you're fine with that. This is this is the perfect defense for you. If I'm alone, nobody can hurt me. You know, I definitely don't want anything from the past. That didn't make me happy. So what am I supposed to do? And this is where the Prince of Cups comes in at. The Princess of Cups is like, well, let's see if we can find somebody for us. Look at this page of cups. Let's make a few offers. Let's just be careful that we don't hurt our feelings with people that we know that we can't take back. So we're not going to go towards nothing old. This is the emotional side of you. With the Ace of, oh, this is the emotional side of you thinking logically. How sweet. Eight of Pentacles. I know I want to. I know what I want, and I know what the fuck I don't want. And the King of Cups is like, what the fuck are you talking about? We don't know what we want. And another part of you is like, yes, the fuck I do. And one part is like, no, I don't. What are you talking about? Well, since you know what you want, tell me. So let's see what you say. <laughs> this is like such an inner brain conversation. I'm ready for somebody who is ready to commit and be loyal, work with me, okay? We don't have to be married right away, but I do want an equal give and take. I don't want somebody who's going to want to play house but not actually be in the house. I'm ready to drop my guard down. I'm ready for somebody to just come in, goddammit. The King of Cups says, all right, whatever. I don't know why I'm reading this like a narrative, but I really feel like this is how y'all are talking to y'all. So. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, Spirit, so what advice do you have for Gemini? Because it got weird. But you know y'all are weird again. Y'all are fucking weird. And I feel like this was very weird. All right, so Spirit, please tell me. <laughs> and that's crazy because the, the reading was all about clarity. This is you literally trying to get to a stable place where all the motherfuckers inside of you can agree what to do next. It's crazy. Okay, Spirit, so tell me. What is the advice? Ten of Wands, King of Cups. One more. There's no need for you to go looking for love or anything new right now. There's a there's there is a need for you to still get over or drop a burden that you're still carrying. Whatever the fuck it is, I don't know what it is. Could be residual energy. Could be anger. Could be a, a bad way of thinking. Could be all those fucking energies that you have telling you different shit. That's probably why the King of Cups is here. Get one motherfucker and sat down. So you can stabilize yourself. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. I mean, Six of Pentacles. Equal yourself out. 
have a meeting with all your personalities and make sure they can all agree on one thing before you take one more step into anything else. All right. Okay, Spirit. So please tell me more advice. I'm telling you, that's crazy. Night, night, eight of cups and this nine of pentacles. Have a talk with yourself about what is right for you. Five of pentacles and the justice card. What is the right way for you to go so that you don't feel left out in the cold again? Again, you may feel like you're done healing, but you're not. You are not. This is the part of you where acceptance come in. If you look up the five stages of grief, acceptance is one of them. I feel like it may be the last one. That's where you're at before you're ready to get out here and do something or see the world again. Okay, guys? So, let's get one card from the Rebel deck. I'm talking all crazy because I'm tired. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Now I'm not going to wake up now. All right. So, let's get one card. Spirit, please give me one card. One card from the Rebel deck. Four. Geminis. Figure this shit out and eat some fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. You need a good fucking cry. Girl, I almost cried today. I was just sitting in my room like, life as a shorty shouldn't be so rough. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Have a good one.